What is happening, Nerd Nation? Welcome to another episode, Nine Nerd Yards, where a nerd can be a nerd. You know us, mm -hmm. you love us. We are here with a special guest, but before we get into it, let's go ahead and introduce the panel, kick off everyone. You know her, you love her. She's the captain of Pink today. It's Kirsten. Kirsten, what's happening? Hey, not much. Just really working a lot this week, which can't complain about that. How about you working guys? Them, working them outfits, maybe. Look at you, girl. Ooh, look, look at, at you. you. Look at Sharp, Captain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all, all aboard. All aboard. Um, I, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. No, wait a minute. Wait okay. a minute. I didn't mean it I like that. <laughs> <laughs> save, save that for the idol breakdown. Yes. Well, yeah. Come back to that one. Uh, and you know him. You love him. It's uh, he's he's in the mean streets of Austin, Texas. It's Jeff. Jeff, what's happening? Not much. Not much. It's weird using my real name since I haven't seen it yet. Mm. Got to go with my name. It just it feels yeah. wrong somehow. I know. Yeah, that I is uh, very strange for you. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna go Jamal, but like again, haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> you might need to go hollywood and we'll tell you why here in a second um and you know him you love him el president el, the real el capitan it's nine nine what's happening baby hey what's up man just no, uh don't, just don't getting just over the diagnosis up, diagnosis mm. of uh the woke mind virus that i got so Ooh. it infected you too you can't drink that Bud light you know that Mm -hmm. yes, you saw. <laughs> I just like the, like the taste. <laughs> well, we everybody can save it all for you, and you can drink all of that taste. Um, in <laughs> in the meantime, though, the reason for the season, why we're all here and gathered today, um, he has been on the show before. He's been on Atlanta. You can currently catch him in the movie The Angry Black Girl, and what was it? And her monster. That's and her movie. monster. Mm. It is the one, the only Keith Hollywood Holiday. Keith, what's happening, baby? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, man? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Glad to be back. Awesome. So good to have you back, man. It's so Pleasure. good, man. Pleasure. There's, it's, it's so crazy to see your, I don't know, man. Sort of the 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 stock sort of going up and up and up since you've been on the show i'm not saying you, everybody needs to come on 900 yards and then all of a sudden you know their their profile will go bigger but i'm just saying i'm just saying right so <laughs> the nine nerd bump right there keith how, how you been in the meantime though before we get into the movie and everything how's life been bro talk to me talk to us life is life has been really good man life is life in <laughs> life be life in? yeah absolutely keith holiday new shirt mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, but no outside of that man everything's been good um life's been great you know just staying out the way um constantly perfecting my craft when i'm not on set um just just trying to stay humble in the process and you know take care of home and and just be myself the best way possible absolutely absolutely Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> let's just get right into this, man, because um, this movie feels like it came along pretty quickly, right? Yeah, it did. Uh, walk walk everybody through the process. So the last we spoke to you was, was it like October-ish, November-ish, some, somewhere around there? Uh, in the, the last we spoke, I want to say that episode on Atlanta aired, I want to say august so it was i want to say sometime in september okay and i remember mentioning to you all then about mm -hmm. um so after we finished um so before i even go into that what all yeah. do you want to know about the process i just um, want to know about your oh. life first of all yeah, yeah. what's going on with <laughs> you know. time you got <laughs> in a word Okay, so it, all, it all started April 9th, 1986, when I was just looking <laughs> at my eye, right? So, no, seriously. Um, so, at that time, we had already um, finished filming. We finished filming around June. And um, it was being shopped around in terms of different uh, film festivals and what direction we wanted. Uh, Bomani's story, the director, wanted to take the film. And 
he was very he was very vocal in terms of you know keeping us in the loop and we actually made it to the finals of sundance oh wow but, um unfortunately we didn't get into sundance um which is still a you know it it, it sucked but it's still a win that we made it to the finals yeah right. uh from there we ended up getting into the and correct me if i'm wrong i believe it is the Pan African Film Festival out in LA. Wow. And Daniel, uh, Danny Glover is wow. the, um, he's like the owner, or like Ooh. the chairman. Wow. So we got into that, but we didn't, we didn't premiere there mm-hmm. because we ended up getting in the South by Southwest. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. That line was extreme. I was at South by, and if you didn't get there early, you were done. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. They were like, you can go and see another movie. Like, really? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> oh, so, so, so you two already know each other real well. No. And hanging out and everything, right? No, 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 no. You guys got into uh, Overlook Film Festival as well, right? I'm sorry, say again? Overlook Film Festival. I believe you guys played as well. Yes, I believe. Yeah. Where is that located? New Orleans. Yes, we got into there. Little, little then we got, into festival, the, yeah. um, we got into a film festival in Canada. Mm-hmm. As well wow. as Minnesota and Atlanta nice. Film Festival, so Whoa. nicely spread around. And, and there, there were a few more. Um, the The movie itself made a pretty good, had a pretty solid run in terms of yeah. film festivals, and um, every review was amazing. Yeah. Um, it, it was a lot to read. Premiering <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, South by Southwest was was pivotal and it was capital and it yeah. it was a uh, confirmation in terms of how strong and powerful this movie is right in terms totally this not, not just black cinema but black horror and mm-hmm. yeah this is this movie and i'm not even saying i'm not even being biased but this movie is yeah Jordan Peele might want to take notes. I'm not even gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. I got to have a small snippet of it. I oh. had a friend send me a screener um, mm-hmm. right after South by when I couldn't get in because um, I wasn't sure I'd be able to catch it at Overlook too. So I'm like, can you send me like a little bit of something? And they sent me like a couple of clips, and it is just a really phenomenally made film, and it just makes you feel so terribly open hearted for these characters. And what's going on because they they took, you know, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and essentially Mm -hmm. modernized it for, Mm -hmm. you know, all the things that are going on in black society today, in the past and probably in the future at this point. And so, yeah, I I was really happy to see um, it get picked up and get, you know, the reviews it was getting because it is it's incredible. It it really is. It really is. And And is um, that what drew you to the project was well, to, so to be honest with you, um, <clears throat> when I got the when I got the audition, it was around I want to say April of last year. Oh wow! So I got the audition, and you know the first thing I saw was um, the name. I was like the angry black girl and her monster. I was like, oh, it sounds like title. something special. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds cool. <laughs> I was like, okay, sounds like we're about to be on Tubi. Cool. <laughs> cool. So right. I was like, but then I saw it was a SAG Astra. So I was like, okay, this this might be something. And I never heard of Bamani's story at the time. I never heard of. Him. And when I looked at the role of Jamal and what they what the breakdown was, I was interested in him because I'm like, okay this sounds like something i would do right. so then when i read this when i read the sides i uh i instantly was 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 drawn to jamal like yo this guy reminds me of somebody that i grew up with mm-hmm. and i was like okay well let me let me see if i can dive a little bit just you know at least try to get a call back mm-hmm. and um next thing i know i got a call back and it was amazing because i got a call back not just for jamal but for another role in the film as well Oh shit! Um, that I never read for. Okay. So, um, and you know, it was just to you know see my versatility. I'm assuming. So when I did small, 
And I did my lines, um, but Monty started doing, giving me some coaching. And he was like, okay, let's go in this angle. I'm like, okay, cool. So we do that. And he was like, okay, well, let's do this angle. And I'm going I'm to tell you what he said because, you know, I'm I'm healed. But um, <laughs> yeah. he said, uh, he said, okay, in this, and he typed it to me. He said, okay, I want you to play on this pain as if your mom died. And I said, okay. Um, so I wrote back before we even started. I said, the interesting thing is that that actually happened. Right. And then Bomani, you know, he he stopped me before I started and said, well, you know what, let's let's go on a different route. I said, no, keep what you told me. Mm-hmm. Let's see how far we can go. Mm-hmm. And he he took his hands off it and let me <coughs> let me go and was like, yo, yeah, that's that's what I was looking for. Awesome. So um that's amazing. So he and I had a conversation um after so I booked the role and he and I had a phone conversation. Um just you know, just to talk a little bit about Jamal and you know what he you know where he comes from in a backstory, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, and it made sense. Jamal is very he's loyal. He's loyal to his family, which is his gang. Um, he's Kango's second in command. He's basically the enforcer. Um, and I I walk around the hood with a machete, which is <laughs> pretty normal day everyday thing. Right, yeah, yeah. It's a normal day, you know. <laughs> so, um, so what what really I was already drawn in. But what really had me sold, like sold, sold, I asked him, I asked Bamani, I said, yo, man, um, so I got to know who's playing Kango. And he said it so nonchalant. He was like, yeah, so I got Denzel Whitaker playing uh, Kango. So, <laughs> uh-huh. like, yo, dude, hold on. You talking about such and such from, you know, Denzel from Great Debaters from Black? He was like, yeah, same dude. Okay, so look, so in this here, uh-huh. and I'm ready right now. This is crazy. So then he was like, "Yeah, I got Cuddy from The Wire." I'm like, "Yo, hell yeah!" <laughs> I grew up on The Wire, like what right, right. Yeah, he was like, "Well, have you ever seen The Equalizer?" I'm like, "Yo, I'm binge watching that." Shit. <laughs> 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 and he was like, "Yo," he was like, "Yo, I got uh the the girl that's playing the daughter. She's my she's Vicaria." I'm like, "This is crazy. Yeah. Dad, can't wait." <laughs> so being. Like being on set and rehearsing with you know Leia and Denzel and getting to meet Chad and work with him, I was just like, dude, this is crazy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy. Like I'm really working with I'm sharing screen time with people that I watch on TV. Like this is wild. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? I mean, I feel the same way right now. So oh my yeah. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I understand it's humbling being a, beside me, but you, you really should be focusing on Keith now, man. <laughs> oh my gracious. Y'all are, you guys are funny. So, um, so yeah, man, from there, we uh, we really just, just dialed in. And from start to finish, man, we were just locked in, just wanting to just deliver something that, is arguably going to be a cult classic. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. And, uh, it was. It was. So, it's a, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, oh, I was just going to ask. So, when it was originally, when you originally heard about it, was it? Did they tell you like it's? Hey, it's like a modern day retelling of Frankenstein, or did they try and like pitch it to you in a different direction? I'm just kind of wondering what they, uh, what the original like. Hey, you should look at this movie. Description. Like, yeah. Was. Yeah. How how to sort of contextualize it? So when I read the script. Um, Bomani told me it was a reimagining of Frankenstein, and I had already read the script. I had already, when he sent it to me, I had already read it through, and I was like, "Yo, this sounds like this don't sound like something you just pulled out out the hat. Like, oh, we just gonna yeah. go horror. Like, I'm like, yo, this has a this has a base. And right, when right. I saw the whole, you know, the modern Prometheus, and you just bought your mm-hmm. brother back from the mm-hmm. dead and create. I was like, yo, is this Frankenstein? Like, I've never seen, now keep in mind, I've never seen Frankenstein. Okay. Never seen it. Although it's a classic, because I was scared to watch it. Don't ask <laughs> me about it. Don't expand on that. We're just going to move on. Um, so, yeah. So, when I, I, I knew what it was, and when he told me, I was like, okay, cool, this is dope. So, I'm just excited to see how this all plays out. So, um, <laughs> so yeah well and i love it because i mean 
they call Mary Shelley the mother of horror because like this was like the first true horror novel really written. So yeah. it's just such a good one to remake and in such a modern, amazing way. I'm really excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're gonna love it, man. I'm telling you, it is really it's a it's a really good film. Leia Leia Delion Hayes does a phenomenal job. A phenomenal job. Denzel Whitaker never. He's never given us anything of, of of poor stature. Like this dude, when I say Denzel yeah. is amazing, I, I, just, I just really want, I just can't wait for you guys to see it, man. It, and I'm not even being I'm biased. Like I'm not yeah. even being biased. When yeah. the first time I saw it was at South By. And oh, man. it went, it was like, you know, first time watching, I was like, yo, this, yo, this joint hard. Like this is, this yeah. is dope. Uh-huh. But I was more so on the fact, like, yo, that's really me on the big screen. This is crazy. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's what I wanted to know, too. Like, how how was that feeling premiering your movie at South by Southwest? Like, yo, that's a dude. big fest. Yo, so seeing myself on the, on the big screen was... It was, it was a mind-blowing experience. It was a mind blowing experience. And what's crazy is that um, in the beginning of the year, I was really, I was dealing with something internally in terms of, you know, where I wanted to go with my creativity in terms of acting and things like that, because, you know, I was dealing with some challenges about that. And I remember um, I was sitting in my room one day and I was like, God, and this year's about to end. And we're going into a new year and I'm just asking that you blow my mind in this year. Like just, just blow my mind in such a way where it's like, there's no denying. (laughs) (laughs) There's no denying seeing your power in anything that I do. And that was, I said, I said that in December, January comes around. I got an audition for a TV series on Disney plus which I ended up booking and I shot oh. that. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Okay. <laughs> you want some secret wars? No, 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 no. I wish. I wish. <laughs> no, it's um. I actually got a chance to play a civil rights activist. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, it's not Dr. King. It wasn't King. <laughs> it was somebody that, that was that was in his circle though. Nice. But, um, That's crazy. So that I shot cool. that. I shot that February. And when I why and it's crazy because the day I got off set and I was in my hotel room, Bomani called me and was like, "Yo, have you been on Instagram?" I'm like, "Hey, Bomani, I just got off set. No, what's up?" He was like, "Yo, you need to go on Instagram." So I go on Instagram and I get I see like all these mentions. I haven't even opened it, and that's when I realized that we got in South by. Whoa! So, <laughs> oh man! So I'm Whoa. sitting, so I'm I'm in Atlanta for a, for a series and find out that the film that I did is in South South. Like that, that's crazy. So, so fast forward, seeing myself on camera, I'm not going to lie, I cried. And it wasn't like, oh, yeah, oh, it wasn't like a boo-hoo cry. It was like, you know, that, that didn't, that proud, didn't yeah. walk into off glory. Yeah. That one. <laughs> <laughs> He actually know. had someone there filming him. It's going on his reel. It's no big deal. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> I did I did that. And it was it was one of those things where it's like, wow, I asked you to blow my mind and here it is. You <laughs> you literally just blew your mind. My mind is gone. Yeah. Like you and, did um, not hold back. <laughs> did not hold back at all. Yeah. <laughs> so the second time I seen the film, um, they had a sneak peek. Um, May 31st, and they were actually filming, uh, not filming, they were shooting it and uh, releasing it in, in Greensboro, where I live. And uh, I went to the movie theater, a uh, few of my friends, it was a, it was a solid turnout, like, like oh, wow. the turnout was crazy. And most of my friends pulled up, and um, that at that point, I'd already gotten, you know, the, gotten off that high that I'm on, I'm on camera. So I'm watching the film. Like I'm really I'm paying attention and I'm 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 understand I'm like yo like this film is is hitting on all cylinders in terms of it touches on issues 
in a, in the form of horror. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, this film is going. This film is going to do some numbers to a to a point where AMC actually bought the film. Whoa! AMC bought the film. Okay. Um, RLJE Films uh, purchased it in their, their like lead distribution. Um, and I found out that that RLJE is actually owned by former BET owner Bob Johnson. Okay. So, um, you know, no big deal. Yeah. No big deal. <laughs> Good old Bob, you know. So, so well, yeah, you guys so are headed there. to Shutter after your theatrical run. Yes, which is awesome. we, are he- we are headed to Shutter. So excited for that! I want to say Shutter in all black, and it's actually what's crazy. It's actually on. It's actually on the Fire Stick. I actually looked it up uh, yesterday just to see if I was able to, you know, if they had it up there. Yeah. And they do have. They have the poster. They got the trailer. They got everything up there, like <clears throat> decked out. It, but you know, you can't watch it yet. But um, right. We are headed to Shutter. <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> I've been hunting for it. <laughs> nice, man. That is well, really cool. Awesome. It um, sounds I'm unreal. Sure. I bet you it feels unreal, though, to like just be like, listen, I'm going. Like, I mean, again, probably the first time walking down for South by South with everybody's photos, and there's so many people around, and you're, just, you're taking pictures with the, the cast. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's got to be a. Yeah, it was it was unreal, man. Like seriously, like it was an unreal feeling, and it was so it, it was so confirming, mm-hmm. I'll say, because I'm I'm just like I didn't get a chance to see you know the you know the A listers or anything like that. I mean, although I was among A listers in the film, but um, you know, I know Dungeon was it Dungeon and Dragons, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They premiered there too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, being in, I think uh, Evil, Evil Dead Rise too. You Evil said Dead what? Rise, yeah. Evil Dead Rise. So you're in some good horror uh, yeah. company, you know? Yeah, it yeah. closed it out, I think. But we had we had our own theater. It, it sold out. Mm-hmm. Um, both showings sold out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, you could not get near it. It was great to see. It was, it was <laughs> amazing, man. It was amazing. It really. If I ever had any doubt about myself as an artist, it's, it's gone. That's good. Okay. Yeah. That Reaffirming. I love it. Absolutely. Let so we have, a, we have a question <laughs> from the comments from uh, producer T who couldn't make it in the yeah. stream today. Who cares about mm-hmm. that guy? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, uh, which do you like better, TV or film? <laughs> uh... God, I have to choose, bro. You got to choose no. right like, now. It's a million dollar I question. You know. oh my God. I mean, <laughs> I think if he showed up, you would have had to choose, but he didn't show up, so you can answer however you want. Oh, cool. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> shut up, Jeff. Shut up. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, say, I'm gonna say it's 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 very very even. It's fairly even. I'm not gonna choose uh, TV over film or vice versa because at this point in my career, I've done both. Yeah, um, right. But I, I can't choose. I can't choose. I, uh, I but the, really what do you people. like better about one or the other? <sighs> what do I like <laughs> better? Golly, um, yeah, I'm gonna help you. Then I'm gonna immediately take it back. <laughs> Golly, I can't. I can't really say. I can't. I can't say. Um, because on TV. I haven't, you know, I'm 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 still an emerging, you know, actor and everything, but the the ep- the episodes that I have done uh with Atlanta and Genius um I don't oh! like the, uh, Oh, Sansa was talking yeah. shit. He uh-uh. popped in. So you can hear your answer to the question. Keith, producer T just hopped on. Oh wow! Good. Now, now you're forced to answer the question. <laughs> yeah, answer. Okay, so if I had to choose, I'm going to say film. There you go. Okay, I, I feel like film is a. You, a that's the most upsetting answer, answer you've ever given us. <laughs> <laughs> What's upsetting about No, just look at his. Just look at his face. Oh. <laughs> he, he just seems so upset. No, but that's I can. That's not him acting mean. right now. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> Ooh. I, I was trying to find my way to mediums. wheel around the entire answer, but I'm gonna just say that. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Although I like them both. 
that's yeah that's i feel awesome, like man. uh film is a good choice for you just because yeah like you're getting into these roles you're bumping elbows with all of these people feels like there's so much more trajectory that way and you know it's uh yeah it's an exciting project right now and just can't wait to see what else you get yourself into thank you, mm-hmm. thank you. i mean it's really it's really a uh to be honest with you, I um I just want to keep continue to show my versatility and my range. Mm-hmm. Um, that in the form of, and I've been getting a comparison to this gentleman a lot lately. Um, Brian Tyree Henry. Oh, I think I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, what <laughs> I want to say he played Paperboy in Atlanta. No, it was, that was somebody uh, else. Friends yeah. called. Could have sworn that was Stephen Glover. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But um, but yeah, I've been getting uh, <laughs> I've been getting comparisons to him lately, and I've been so because of that, I've been watching, I've been Class watching, of 09. yeah, and was I've been watching Class of 09. I've been watching Bullet Train a lot. Um, Hell yeah, we love Bullet Train. Of course, of course yeah. I've been watching. You know, going back and watching Atlanta a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just, just really trying to follow this, 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 this individual because I, looking at him, and what's interesting is that um, I looked him up on Wikipedia, and he's from Fayetteville, North Carolina, nice. but he was born in Washington D.C. Oh. oh, and I'm like, well, that's that's how fitting because I was born and raised in Washington D.C. and I migrated <laughs> to Fayetteville, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> So this man's just following you around. Like you know he's, he's, he's got to stop <laughs> stalking you, Keith. Like you trying to be like me now, right? I mean, he's taking <laughs> your roles. Really <laughs> he, he is literally taking my roles. <laughs> You're gonna have to take I'm him dope. out. I don't know. I'm dope. I'm dope. <laughs> but um, at this rate, at this rate, I'm going. Uh, I honestly can. Honestly, can say that I'm I'm finding my groove as an actor mm-hmm. in terms of what where I'm going and what I want to do in terms of what be you know a series regular or you yeah. know movies or whatever. But um, ideally, I would love I would love to work. Of course, I would love to work with Leia again. I would love to work with Denzel, Chad. But I I would love to see myself in a film with you know. Brian Tyree and yeah. and and another person that I've been getting comparisons to Winston Duke. Yeah. So, um, oh, okay, interesting. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I think I I think it'll happen. I right. think it'll yeah. happen. It just has to be on God's time and really just at you know everything has to align itself the right way. So kind of snowballing off of that a little bit. Um, what is your ideal role? Like, what would be your dream role? What kind of character would you really love to sink your teeth into next? Hmm. You know, just the small questions. Yeah. <laughs> no, no existential dread causing questions. Ideal, ideally, I would, and I'm going to say this again, I would love to play Blade. I would. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but Mahershala, I think Mahershala is going to do a phenomenal job um, carrying on the mantle that Wesley you know, had. Um, me right now I would love I would love to be an action hero yeah but mm. I'm I'm just having this I'm just vibing with being a villain right now I like that okay mm. like I'm just okay. really vibing being it all started in the mall huh when you didn't take the chicken yeah it all started yeah. I mean you all know what it tastes like, <laughs> like everybody knows what it tastes like so I mean, <laughs> but yeah so you know from there you know yeah, how about this if you if you could be a villain in any action movie mm. which one would you have chosen that's coming yeah, out know. like that's out now or no, no, that that's anything, that's anything. been out anytime yeah, been filmed to coming out whatever you want man oh, you man. can be uh what's his face lannister and last action hero for all i care yeah yo if i could be a villain Charles Dancer. Anything, that's one i would have golly well I, i'm i'm gonna I'm I'm say two i would okay. love to have been a villain in okay i'm gonna say three 
would have, I would, I would, lo- I would have loved to be a villain in any of the Spider Man films. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would love which Spider Man. Andrew Garfield. Yes. Thank you. You get it. See, I think you'd have been a good uh, prowler in those Andrew Garfield ones. You know, Ooh. Uncle Miles Morales' uncle, if they brought Miles mm-hmm. in. If those movies had continued, I think they'd have been the ones to bring Miles in sooner than the MCU. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I mean, that was much closer to the ultimate world. I'm not going to go into comics. I'm not going to sidetrack this. Back yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're about to. I would say Spider-Man. Um, I, would love, nice. I would love to go toe-to-toe with uh with my man Thor in that extraction. Yeah. You know, oh right? yeah. That's Sequel's good. coming out. Right. Yeah, I know. I Those love, are good I solid action it. movies. I would uh-huh. love to be in that. And I would really I want to know what it's like to, you know, to be in the presence of the Targaryens. Right. Oh. House of the Dragon. Are you feeling Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon? No, I'm talking about House of the Dragon. That's the right. Dragon. That's right. Yes, you are. Right. I had to make sure. You yeah. got to be careful. <laughs> I love House of the Dragon, man. Mm-hmm. I, I am. I have grown to be. At first, I was a fan of Rhaenyra. I still am. Yep. But my man Damon is a problem, man. Yeah. She got to get rid of him. He is very Season jealous. two. Kill him. <laughs> nah, you, you can't. You can't. Well, we need him because he's kind of fun, too. He's an that asshole, man, but we love yo, him. Yo, that man went down. But he's our he, asshole. He went into the, the basement and sang for Vermithor. You cannot get no colder than that. No. <laughs> yeah. Like, you bonded with your grandfather's dragon. Like, that's. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. But, yeah, so those are my three. Okay. I like it. That, that, uh, I, was, was, say, I could see you as a Doc Ock too. Dude, you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. make Doc yeah. Ock cool again. Well, he was. Cool you know what? I, I would have loved to be Shocker. Right, yeah. I was gonna say Shocker we forget that. we're sleeping yeah. on that. I'll yeah. tell you what, my favorite, who we haven't seen in a single Spider-Man movie, Hobgoblin. Yes. Okay. I think so I'm gonna gonna the Hobgoblin all the time. I think that'll be Nate. Yeah, he's yeah, I think they're 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 working they can't towards stay it. Stay away but, from Hobgoblin. Fuck, Hobgoblin if you're that, but fuck that. We got Keith. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Keith's gonna be in the next Spider Man because they need it. Nice. We're manifesting <laughs> it right now. Pull up that question for Keith. Keith we got depressing. a question here in the oh, comments. Yeah. yeah, there we yeah. go. Keith, I'm so sorry about this question. Keith, Keith in your and... opinion, what's the greatest film ever made? Film Ooh. Age Studios. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. And he. The angry black girl Loves and her monster. Asking. Next question. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Asking people this question. There you go. The angry uh, black girl and her monster. No, that, that's boom. Like, that's that's one of them. Um, but <laughs> the, the greatest film ever made to me, I would say. Oh man, Denzel's version of Malcolm X. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh damn. I'll say that. Uh, Dion, yes and no. In the actual comics, Harry does inherit Green Goblin, whereas Hobgoblin is a different character. But they did lean very hard on Hobgoblin for uh, Franco's His character. Yeah, yeah. And that has been comic book minute. Don't get it Jeff. twisted, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, that's that's a great pick. Because that was a solid, solid film. Yeah. And just a hard watch, which I think a historical film of that nature should be a hard watch. You shouldn't have mm-hmm. a good time. No. Like, <laughs> if you do, there, you need to examine some things about yeah, yourself I, I, personally. Ther- therapy might be high on your list. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you need, After I watch that you movie, need to I reconnect with your... <laughs> If, if you're giggling through that movie, I don't think you were watching the movie. I think you were watching Right. If you're giggling through that movie, you owe all of us reparations, right? like, <laughs> including, including me and Jeff. Like, yo, it's, yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put mine right back in the channel. Let's not, <laughs> not even go there. Can you, can you imagine, like, the, can you imagine the work conversations? Like, if you're giggling through Mal- that Malcolm, <laughs> right? Right. HR like, immediately. Did you see when they shot him, bro? <laughs> 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 I wonder who was jail. in his pocket. 
<laughs> like, what's wrong with you, bro? Guys, um, always that one personality. Is anyone looking for a feel good film? Because let me tell you, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> number one comedy of the year. But the same wanna, thing uh, for, you know, to round it back to um, the angry black girl and her monster. If okay. you're looking for that Please, to you. be a fun filled horror movie, you're kind of looking in the wrong place. Yeah, but if you really. want something that's going to be deep and allow you to, to feel just an ounce of how scary it is to grow up in that kind of environment and Oof. to experience those things firsthand and it, that grief that comes sort with of, that. As I watched the, the trailer and read the review and based on what you just mm -hmm. said, Kirsten, it's sort of, and like agree to disagree on this subject, but what I'm about to say, but like this reminds me as if they were to do Frankenstein in the, the, the Atlanta universe as if like, like, like that. Oh, no, the, like the, no, like the, the <laughs> just nope. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, no, it's oh, not that. Yeah, it's that just. It's, it I'm has, joking. I'm joking. It doesn't even feel like it lives in a surreal world. Do you feel like that way, Keith? It feels real. Like of oh. all the Frankenstein things aside, it's a very real. Movie. Like I was gonna say, is it real to bring somebody back, Kirsten? Like no, I mean, there but has it's to, a metaphor. I think, I think what she's saying right. is like, but setting. isn't it Atlanta? Like Atlanta is a whole like. Maybe not a metaphor, but it is like sort of introducing you into this world of like, hey, like this primarily black characters in Atlanta. What's it like seeing it, seeing well, this world from their from their point of view? But we're all aware, spoiler alert, that Atlanta was all just a dream. Mm, fair mm. enough. Mm. So, Keith, what's your spin on the film then? <sighs> <I'm>... <sighs> Without being, it's hard because you can't reveal too much. Because right. <laughs> you can kind of, if you know the plot of Frankenstein, piece together what's going to kind of happen with that aspect of it. But you have no idea what you're in for with the rest of the film. Mm -hmm. It's I'll it's incredible. Oh, wow. I'll say this: uh, the monster. Okay, a few things. One, mm -hmm. the mon the monster isn't the only monster. Mm -hmm. um, the monster. Hmm isn't a monster at all. all right and it's really when you have when you have big dreams and you're you of trying to make it out mm -hmm. but you have a lot of things taken away from you you try to figure out how you can get that what was taken from you back. And I'm trying I'm trying to say all of this without <clears throat> really saying it. Yeah. But um and there's so many more, it's so many more Easter eggs in there, so many more hidden hidden gems to take away from it. But the monster isn't really a monster. And mm -hmm. the monster isn't the only monster. So when you when you see it, you you kind of realize, you know, it's really the environment. The environment, grief, a loss of hope. Absolutely. That could be a monster for most people. Absolutely. But yeah, it's Damn. it's so cool. And it's like where we are is uh it's like quicksand. Mm -hmm. It's really like quicksand. And for Bakaria, she's trying to get out. She's trying her best to get to make it out. And um it's so many yo, you just gonna have to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have to watch it because I I'm, I'm, to the to the viewers and listeners, I'm I'm not about to spoil this for you guys. Y'all really need to watch this film. Seriously, do not spoil it. Yes, just um, like Jeff spoiled Atlanta. Do not spoil. Not going to be. It's been anything, months. Do... <laughs> Sorry, CC baby. To, um, start off with uh, or actually play a little bit of this trailer. I don't think I can play the full thing. No, you but, play. So, you can play without. You can not play without the way we've been sound. going lately. <laughs> yeah, you can play without sound. I'm sure, like it wouldn't. Uh, I, you I know what I mean? Sound is important. As nine turns the sound up. <laughs> yeah, it's like sounds important. Sounds important. Death is a disease. Are we doing a trailer? It infected my brother Chris. That that scene right there alone. My hypothesis: there's a cure. Your daughter has a very disturbing obsession. What obsession? Mm. Yeah. So I, 
I like how Vicaria seems to be very much a blend of Victor Frankenstein and Mary Shelley herself. Indeed. Because Mary Shelley was so obsessed with death growing up. Um, yeah. I, I just, I don't know. I, that's just from the trailers I've seen. That's the feeling that I get. But I really like that. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, man, look, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't express it enough how, how strong this film is. This film is very strong. It's very strong. And, um, I think I, 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 I know that everyone is in for a really big treat. Seriously. Seriously. Man. Um, just thinking about your brother. You have the chance to bury him. Just wish I could catch who took his body. Death is the disease that broke my family. I'm sick of seeing it. The cinematography in this trailer is amazing. Yeah, it looks that's really good. I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, and the it lighting of that's amazing. Used. It looks really cool. Too. Keith, how long did it take to 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 do the shoot to to film it all? Mm-hmm. We were there for a month. We filmed it in Charlotte, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. Um, in a uh, in a ban- in an abandoned project area, and um, we were there from the end of May to the end of June. Wow! Damn, that's quick, right? Okay. So good turnaround, like there. Very quick. but. A lot of we we rarely had days where we weren't working. We were working right. mm-hmm. every day, all day. Oh yeah, wow. So yeah, and we were we were on a time frame. We were we were definitely on the time frame. So um, mm-hmm. we got we got a lot done. I will probably say we may have taken out a couple pages, but it was just you know we could we could spare that really. Right. Yeah. You know, so but we definitely got some some quality done, quality. And I I'm, look, I I really want to give a shout out. I honestly do. I want to give you know flowers to a young actress in there. Her name is Amani Summer. She plays Jada. Okay. This <laughs> this young lady. When I hear me, when I tell y'all, this young lady is phenomenal phenomenal in this film oh she's the creepy little girl uh-huh okay mm. phenomenal in this film this young lady is amazing amazing so please wow. put, put a look out for her because that little one there <laughs> He's scaring generations to come. <laughs> she, she came to me at South by and she tapped me on the shoulder and she said, You know, you really scared me in the film. <laughs> I looked at her and said, You scared me. <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. And I'm like, you know what? You are nothing like Jada. You are you are well mannered. You are, you know, you are a great kid. <laughs> That little girl, Jada, need her butt whooped. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, when I was watching the trailer, I was like, how how crazy is it that a girl that young can get into that type of a mindset? Because just in the trailer, you're like, she's this, fucking terrifying. She's, yeah, she's yeah. creeps. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she's got the creeps going, yeah. She, uh-huh. They called her the scene stealer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was uh, yeah, that was that. I think that's one of Bomani's favorite scenes, honestly, because he when we were doing ADR for when I was doing ADR for my parts, he he kept he was like, "Yo, man, yo, I can't wait for you to see what what Amani did, man. It's one scene where where the monster he doing the alphabet, and then we we got a close up on her and she's mouthing it and he's speaking for her, and I'm like, "Yo, that's crazy." Then as soon as I seen the trailer, I was like, "Dude." <laughs> Dude, and like she, she's just going, and I'm like, yeah. That scene in the trailer where she's just staring down Vicari, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> that's the one right there, man. That that was yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that was money right there. 
but the casting around him, he, he he didn't mess with the casting at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So great. It's really cool it, when a project can come together like that so perfectly. It's like all the awesome. all the pieces fit. Absolutely. And it's gotten such such crazy high rate, eighty six percent on uh, let's see, a film score, Rotten Tomatoes. Like, what? yeah, we cert- we certify fresh now. So, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> we were we were a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes for uh, Lee. I want to say for a, a month and some change. Yeah. Nice. We were we were wow. up there. Man. It should go right back up once it hits Shutter. Oh, yeah, we'll get, or even before yeah. that, when it when it completes its run here, absolutely. Uh, we're, we're trying to, um, you know, they're 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 not really taking their time, but um, you know, they're doing select cities right now. I guess to you know get like the you know the feedback really. Mm-hmm. But um, there's another. They are actually about to. Or is I I'm up? I'm super pumped. I'm actually zoned on the trailer. I want to just go in. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, I think they're gonna release it like in every every city, every state very soon. Really, man? I yeah. already went on Fandango and just get, did one of those like notify me when tickets are near me. Mm-hmm. I'm because excited for this one. It's crazy because um, well, it's not, okay. It's not crazy. It's it is crazy. We know it's crazy. You already said it's crazy. It's understandable for how good of a job I did. Gotcha. (laughs) But um so on Facebook alone, there was um there was a lot of uh there's a group in there and someone tagged me to the post. I go in there and I look, it had over like three thousand likes and like four thousand shares. Whoa! On just the trait, not the trailer, on just the poster of Angry Black Girl, and I sent that to Bobani, and I'm like, dude, this is insane! Like everybody wants to see it, and like every even under the the post, they were like, yo, I people were like, yo, I seen it, it's amazing. People were like, yo, I just seen the trailer, is is crazy. Uh, P- I haven't seen it. I'm trying to go see it. Where can I find it? And it's like, is I'm like, yo, this is this is amazing. So I sent it to Bomani and he was like, dude, we got something. And it went viral on TikTok um, yeah. twice. It went tw- viral on TikTok twice through two Whoa. different um, influences. Uh, one guy by the name of Stony the Great, shout out to him on Instagram. His his uh his um his post on Angry Black Girl had like over a million views. So the marketing for this has been amazing. It's been yeah. going around. And yeah. it's just it's just really one of those things where like the second they open up the floodgates and say, yo, angry black girl, every in the theaters everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so right. I'm excited to watch it take off. Just you know, search in the title Angry Black Girl and Her Monster on Facebook. One of the first ones I one not one of the first ones, like like five or six in. Uh, someone just re- comments, uh, the angry black girl and her monster, huh? Why not Kiana and her monster, Katie and her monster, blah, blah, blah. That just tells me how much you miss so much yeah. of the point of this movie. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> That's mind virus. Shouldn't it be all lives matter? I mean, they all do, right? It's like, I mean, dude, you're missing the point. Well, the thing about that is yeah, we, we expect as much, mm. you know, and... <clears throat> Who, who are we to go back and forth? Man, hey, if you miss it, you miss it. Right, you know? yeah. I just feel the name catcher captures, excuse me, such an important theme part and such an important of part of this. Yeah, exactly, Absolutely. you know? Like, I, I don't know. That's my personal opinion on it, based yeah. on, especially based off of what you guys just told me. But either way, Absolutely. I'm just crazy yeah. excited. And it's really, um, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When I saw the the name, the angry black girl and her monster, <laughs> I was like, okay, stereotypical. Doing this. Right. But um, <laughs> I was like, very right, cool. So then, but when I read it and realized, oh, this is a reimagining of you know Frankenstein, and then I started seeing like, I was like, okay, I see why she's angry, right? You know, and mm-hmm. it's like, but then when you really think about it, one of the five, I think, what is it, one of the five stages of like grief, grief is grief. anger. Is is anger? It's actually so, the first. Exactly. So it's like she's not, 
she's angry, but she's really grieving because mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, she's not moving past her, that state. Her, yeah, her environment. She's she pretty much lost everything. Mm-hmm. Well, and to to Blake's point, uh, based on what the two of two of you. Someone point my fingers in the right direction. Based on what the two of you have told me on this film, it sounds a lot like, yeah, Atlanta in the sense that it's showing an entire community based off Atlanta with a show and a city and this with a film and the Frankenstein story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, and to, you know, kind of jump back to the name, um, when I first saw it as a title announced for South by and Overlook, um, I, I liked the title. I loved it actually because of how it hits you immediately. Like, oh, okay, that's kind of mm-hmm. it. Should either it should elicit some sort of reaction. Mm-hmm, and any time right. that black girls or black women are even a little bit emotional, it could be ten percent emotional. It's already perceived as way yes, up well, here. Well, calm down. And so, Here's you know, calm down. Right. <laughs> and that trailer, that trailer is so genius in that it doesn't give anything away, but it gives enough away that you you know you don't know what you're getting into quite yet, but you know that it's going to change your perception of Absolutely. of almost everything. And you know, that counselor, that white lady counselor in the trailer that's like, you know, she's becoming kind of a problem because she's grieving, because she might have had one right, outburst right, in class, right. her mother and her brother are dead. She like, seems to be obsessed with death. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. It's genius. <laughs> yeah, it's so, yeah, so meticulously done. Yeah, it's, uh, it really, it really, um, it addresses a lot of the, uh, a lot of elephants in the room, mm-hmm. really, and, um, yeah, Miss Kemp, the the white count, the white counselor in there. Yeah, that showed it's a piece of work. I ain't gonna lie. I seen when I seen that. Scene, I, like, it's a piece of work. I, I seen mean, it. like, I got a feeling yeah, like she's at the at the front of the mob with the pitchforks and fl- and the torches. You know. Yeah, she. I'm sure Miss Kemp a, a tiki torch in her. <laughs> it's right there in her desk drawer for when you know Absolutely. she's got angry black children in her office. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I thought you said when you said earlier, Keith, when you were telling the story about how you got the script and you read it and it said angry black girl and your monster and when you were reading it i i thought you were going to say and then it was and then the angry black girl was really a white girl and i was like i don't know (laughs) (laughs) i I had no idea m night wrote this one huh oh Oh, my god that would have been that would have been a crazy ass twist you talking about horror (laughs) well you know what i tell you what that actually brings up a good question that i had uh keith without Mm -hmm. spoiling anything what's the big twist in this movie (laughs) <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, We're such all a about wonderful to get <laughs> I had to throw it out there. I thought of it like ten minutes ago, and I was like, "When's the good time to throw this one in?" You know what? Kudos oh for trying. God. The biggest, the biggest twist in there. No, no, no. I actually don't want to. No, I want to be surprised when I see it. You about to hit yeah, us with something? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not about that. I'm not. About that. I, can't, I can't. I can't do that because in the event Bomani might be watching, I'm not. I'm not doing. No, it. don't do that. And in the event that he's watching, hey, if you want to come on Nine Nerd Yards, just reach, hey, reach out to Keith. Let's get, let's do it. Let's link up. Yeah, connected and respected. Matter of fact, yeah. I'll shoot him a text. <laughs> oh, oh my God! I love you. <laughs> if I had money, I'd give you some. <laughs> you know how to do that I mean, by supporting, the, supporting the, the movie you kind of yeah I mean, you can right, go out yeah. and go see the movie definitely exactly yeah. just know For it's sure. not anything oh, that you're expecting theaters, man it's it's god it's, it's it's a great movie man and a lot of people really thought it was jordan peele nah man this is a this is a bomani story production mm-hmm. this wow. is a bomani story but excuse me bomani j story film God, I'm so excited. This is going to be so good. But you guys probably I was excited about this Sorry, before Jay. I talked to you. No, no, I interrupted everyone. Maybe I should send him my short, my horror short. You know, Terry got... Terry <laughs> you got motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Because remember, I mentioned this to y'all last time we spoke. I do. And you all were asking me, and I was like, I can't tell you too much. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all I can say. And then, and then you left, and I was like, he's lying to it. He ain't doing shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, you guys think that Disney Plus shit's real? Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Let's, I'm excited let's talk about too. some Disney Plus shit real quick in the last like 10 minutes or so. Uh, okay. What is going down? What is so? Yeah. So you do the movie, you do the, the world tour with the movie, and then you start. Or this you filmed, you filmed the Disney before you went on world tour. Is that what's yes. going on? That's okay. Correct. I did um okay. I did an episode. It was a co it was a co star role, but you know a role is a role. Mm-hmm. On um a TV show called Genius. Uh, it was mm-hmm. originally on Nat Geo, but Disney Plus bought it. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, it's season four of Genius, and it really um it revolves around mm-hmm. Dr. King and Malcolm X. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Malcolm X is uh, played by Aaron Pierre. Oh, this looks like the first episode of season four. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's like right out the gate. Awesome. So, um, so yeah, and what's what's interesting is that Amani Summer, who plays Jada in Angry Black Girl, she actually plays Atala Shabazz, Malcolm X's daughter, in oh. in Genius. Okay. Yeah, I didn't recognize I was, her. And I'm actually um I'm on Dr. King's side. Uh, I play yeah. Hosea Williams. Wow. Okay. So. What was that like to just sort of transport back in time a little bit? Triggering. It was, yo, it was triggering. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, man. It was like, you know, when you get there, and I'm, and of course, I'm speaking for myself. When you get there, when I got there, I was like, man, you know, this is amazing. I'm on set. I I love how I feel. I love being, you know, I love being in this, this atmosphere, you know, and then I see, you know, the wardrobe and, and all of this. And I'm like, yo, I had to shave, I had to shave my beard. Oh. Um, they gave me the, they gave me the Lawrence Fishburne, the, the strap. <laughs> 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 Not the strap. They, Man, that's they, a way to take us right out of it before you bring us right back in. No, they hot, they hot combed my hair to where I had like a little Afro. Wow. I was like, I was like oh my God, bro, this is crazy. Wow. So, you know, I went through wardrobe and everything. I'm on set. I'm seeing everybody dressed up. You know, it's the, it's the 60s. It's the civil rights era. And we're at, you know, you know, I'm on the steps of the, you know, the, the police station, what have you. And, you know, it's a pro. It's clearly the protest. It's Bloody Sunday. And um, going into it, you know, when we're doing the first couple of takes, you know, we, we it's just normal takes. And then all of a sudden, as we started doing more, it started to get real for everybody. Wow. And um, we haven't even gotten to, like, the meat and potatoes of the scene yet. Jesus. Yeah. And um, so, you know, mine, I'm actually leading the protest in a, uh, in a song um, called, you know, Everybody Wants Freedom. And it gets louder and it's like at that moment <laughs> when the police officer tells his other comrades to, you know, have us disperse and they get to us. Like the second those nightsticks touched us, everybody broke down. Like we all like everybody when we, we, we held it together. But like when, when they when they said cut. Man, we was like, yo, everybody was, you know, people were over there hyperventilating, people were like bawling, and myself, I just had to stand there and I stood there in like complete anger. And it wasn't even at, you know, you know, the other actors and nothing like that. It was at the fact that I'm reliving something that happened. That happened. Yeah. And, and not that long ago. Exactly. Yeah. Really, not that long ago. Like our grandparents at the latest. Yeah. Exactly. You know, and it's like you know, growing up and hearing these stories, I'm like, man, you know, that's that's wild, you know, that never happened to me. And then here it is, I'm actually portraying this. I'm and I have to bring this character, you know, do justice by this character. And I'm sitting here and I'm just so angry, like to a point where my fists are balled up. And I'm like, I'm just glad I was not I wasn't in this era because we'd have had some we'd have had some problems. Right. Like, <laughs> like we yeah. like ain't no ain't no way I'm turning the other cheek. We'd have had mm-hmm. some problems, but on the flip side, the the opposite side, the people that were playing police, they were very they were very funny. Like in between takes, because I mean they understood <laughs> how we were feeling, right? And, like when we would come up, they didn't have microphones on, so when they would come up, they were like, "Hey, can you guys please move? Like, come on, guys, you know." And I'm like, "Yo, that, 
<laughs> like, oh, that's, that's really not helping. Like, yeah, excuse, excuse, excuse me, sir. Do you mind standing over there this take? Like, like, like I'd really guys, appreciate it. Like one of the cops got up to me and whispered. He's like, hey, man, you're really tall. And I really like your shoes. I'm like, dude, I'm like, the camera's on me. You want me to laugh? Like, come on, man. Right, yeah. Oh, God. It was it was uh. a humbling experience, man, because seeing and I have a, a an utmost respect for like the stunt performers because they actually had to bring in a canine. Um, oh wow! They brought in a canine, and we're sitting there, and I'm and and I'm watching this, like, you know, the mayhem, the chaos, and they actually brought in a canine for a stunt performer, and he's really like dragging this per I'm like yo what is going on <clears throat> and we shot this in Macon Georgia which by the way is a very beautiful city okay very beautiful is very um it has a a real old school but modern new school type feel mm -hmm. pretty cool it's pretty cool that's awesome. Wow. That's so great. I was actually going to ask if it was done like somewhere on location or on a soundstage, because I was wondering if like a sound, if it was a soundstage, I was wondering if that was easier to break it for you or like kind of get out of character. So like, did you find like after you were doing scenes like that, it was hard to kind of get out of character or get out of the emotion? Like, did you have to like, I mean, you just said like you were obviously still angry about it happening, but after, I mean, I obviously don't know. I I will say when I got off set, it was, I found a way to, um, to get out of it. And I've actually, one of my acting coaches, well, my acting coach showed us, um, you know, helped us in terms of like getting in and also getting out mm -hmm. to where we, you know, we're not staying in that. So whatever traumas that, you know, I may have dealt with previously or any experiences, yes, I'm, I open up the gate and I, I tap into that. But when my part is done or when the work is done, I just think I basically pull a Peter Pan and I think I have to thought. Mm. Okay. And um, wow. that helps me, you know, that's basically my bridge to get out of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, you got to think about it, man, you know, being an actor, we, we have to tap into those, those emotions that mm -hmm. we don't want to deal with. You know what I'm saying? And it can be very dangerous. It can be very dangerous to deal with mentally, you know, so we have to find ways to, you know, dial in, but also get out when we need to get out. Mm -hmm. Man. I, I would say, I mean, like, you know, you hear how hard and how impressive it is that people are able to get into that mindset. I would argue that it, it I think, at least in this situation, it's more impressive you're able to get out of it yeah. well, you know? Right. Really. That could Definitely. be just so harmful for you personally and mentally and emotionally. I couldn't Definitely. again I can't imagine. Yeah, it's yeah, um it's 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 definitely a challenge. And it take it does take some work to, you know, learn not really master it, but you know, do it in, in moderation really. Wow. That's I, I think that's 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 like that's some heaviness right there, man. Especially I think too, like coming out of it, but also just like what the day must have been like when you're walking in you're like man it's gonna be a jolly day today and then all of a sudden you're like on set and you're like bro what like i'm going through trauma i'm oh well we got right dogs now. today <laughs> who are they for oh god oh no like no that honest to god that's just yeah wow yeah it was um it was it was very uh it's powerful the ep the season i'm excited to see how the season looks but um, that episode, if it's anything like that episode, is definitely gonna be powerful for sure. Yeah, man, definitely gonna be powerful. You're just, you're just out here doing all kind of powerful stuff. Keep powerful horror movies, <laughs> right? Dramas. Keep it Bro, up. You doing powerful podcasts? Stuff, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, look, I'm just a humble actor trying to, you know be is is good in my the best in my craft as i could possibly be really. yeah i'm absolutely. not trying to emulate anyone's style i'm just trying to find my own my own style and just expand on that feel yeah. that that's humble right there um i love it 
Well, if anybody out there has any questions as we sort of round it out in the comments, feel free to feel free to shoot it. Um, let's let's start around the room real quick. Jeff, any final notes or questions for Keith as we What's your third favorite color? <laughs> I think you asked him that one before. <laughs> All right, fine. Yeah. Have... We already know what that is. Yeah. All right, fine. What's your favorite herbivore dinosaur? <laughs> We're trying to light it up. We got some heavy stuff. Let's lighten this up a little bit. Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. Yeah. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> don't, be, don't be lying, Keith. Don't be lying, Keith. You know that's your first favorite. Don't be lying. Bron Brontosaurus. I'm going to just go well, with that because that's the only uh, dinosaur I know that's an herbivore. <laughs> okay. Don't pretend like you don't know everything Littlefoot's been into. Come on. Oh, my God. Bro. Not the Littlefoot's <laughs> <laughs> now, now you just brought it back to depression, Jeff. Jesus. Good grief. It ended up happy he got the tree starts. <laughs> At what no. cost, Jeff? <laughs> At what cost? Yeah. <laughs> time. What's this, part 20 now? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> what do you think? Is, is there more Land Before Times, or is there more now? That's what I call music. <laughs> oh, my God. They're, They're competing. Good. They're competing. Uh, Kirsten, yeah, right. um, any final questions or comments for Keith? <laughs> I just want to say this has been so cool and I'm so excited for your film and um, also to see that episode come out on Disney plus um, it's, okay. it's going to be just, it's already been an incredible ride for you and I can't wait to see where else you go. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. I really do. It has gotcha. been, uh, it's been quite a journey for sure. And I mean, yeah. I'm excited. I'm really excited for what's next. And to think, I mean, you know, nine hundred yards probably kicked off the whole momentum of everything. <laughs> it's it's so, so crazy, so crazy. And it all we we also Jake. try to stay yeah. humble here. <laughs> humble. It's happening right now. Gotta stay humble, guys. Gotta stay humble. Every now and then, it's, it's, it's always good to you know do a little subtle flex. Like, yeah, I'm humble, but at the same time, I'm I'm, I'm like that. So you know. Yeah. <laughs> Gary, you were a little late, but any questions or anything like that that you wanted to ask Keith while we still had him? Uh, did we, Keith, have you watched The Idol? I have not watched no. it. We asked him that. We oh, you yeah. you that did was, not you missed it. That was that was before <laughs> that was behind screen. Uh, okay. scenes. I definitely want to see Gary. what is his opinion on I, The I, Idol. I, I, hey, I, I, if you want to break down any episode of The Idol, just let us know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, I have not watched it yet, but since you all have mentioned it, I will. I will. I see, and I think we're you like don't need to watch into the it. trap. You like really we're talking so much shit about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> that we've like fallen for their ploy. Oh they got God. us. They, they got us. This is Kirsten. Here. Kirsten is sign languaging everybody out there. Don't watch it, uh, <laughs> Terry. You missed it. Keith is uh, is watching the class of 09. See, I, I I started the first episode. I liked it. It had um a minority wait till you get to the, vibe, right? Wait till you get to the fourth mm -hmm. one. Wait till you get to the fifth one because it's not. Oh, that Ooh, I left off on three. Okay, oh, I'll pick it back yeah. up. It's crazy, yo. It, it is crazy. Okay, it's crazy. crazy. It's, it's given. It's definitely given like that minority report. It it is. It is. It's very futuristic. Um, nine, baby. Uh, what you got for Keith as as we wrap this up? Please come back. Don't forget about us. <laughs> <laughs> the same ladder. We all rise together, all right? <laughs> you see, I came back, right? Exactly. <laughs> I got you, man. Yo, just, yo, Blake, Blake got the yo, Blake got the bat. He got the bat phone, so you know he just got to hit me up. <laughs> oh, oh, Give him the old ring. Tower just shining. The color they like. you know, Blake, Blake me DM. I looked at it instantaneously, man. I, now don't get me wrong. It, 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 it is some DMs I, I definitely ignore. <laughs> Jeff. And Jeff. <laughs> some of them are probably watching this now, but just know I do see their DMs. I choose not to speak. Ima imagine. Here's the thing. Imagine somebody sent you a DM and they're like, I've been waiting to hear back from like three weeks. Oh, Blake hit him up and now they're on the show. Like, bro, <laughs> that is the worst feeling. <laughs> like, yeah. like, seriously, when Blake sends me a message, I'm I'm gonna look at it. I'm I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna reply. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm the exact opposite. Ha, 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 ha.
But right, when it's, it's, it's certain individuals that send me DMs, like lately, like, you know, people, when the movie dropped, you know, every mm-hmm. now and all of a sudden, you everybody know, wants in. Uh, I was going to say, I, think, I feel like it's about to pick up. So if you sent Keith Holiday a, a DM and he hasn't responded, he ain't gonna. Okay. Not, <laughs> chill out. I'm not, I'm not, and if I do the respond, it's have de- passed. I'm, and if I do respond, it's definitely a double tap, and it's not, not a, <laughs> and, and not a double tap with the love. emoji like the fist or or anything else. If I double tap and it's just a heart, get the. Picture. That's all you get. That's all you get. get. I'm, is I'm it, just it's love, but it's an acknowledgement. <laughs> that or, you only put one L in, you stupid moron. <laughs> oh man! All right, Blake, it's up to you, buddy. You got any more questions or and or comments? No, I um, I I, I think this is we've we've talked about a lot of stuff that I wanted to, um, and I, I'm just excited that we got to have you back on, and hopefully, as projects come out, man, we we will continue to. To have you on promote those things talk about i think the adventure and the process of, of seeing you grow into a like a full-fledged just like all the way out there actor i think that that's a beautiful it's a beautiful journey for us to see it's a beautiful journey for you to live it i'm sure and i think it's dope for us to like come back and, and talk about it also mm-hmm. uh nothing but respect from from everybody here we yeah the we got the documents prove that keith holiday has no, been in all the movies not, not uh, <laughs> too much too much no uh-uh. <laughs> No. Oh, wow. uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, facts, man. I, I definitely appreciate you taking time to to come out here again, and and um, sorry we 100%. couldn't link up, but hopefully the next time you're in Austin, we can definitely link up. I know it was only for Absolutely. a few days when you were here. So. I'll quit my job. <laughs> Just like I will kill somebody. I, um, definitely, man. I was I was talking to my wife about it. Like Austin is definitely a vibe for sure. Yeah, yeah, def- definitely going to come back out. It there is sure. its own thing. It's a whole thing. Keith, hopefully well, we'll get you I- for uh, Fan Fest, right? You said what now? Hopefully we'll get you for Fan Fest or something. Ooh. Hopefully. Putting up Fan Fest. Mm-hmm. Terry, what's the one? <laughs> Fantastic, Fantastic Fest. That's the one. Yeah. Don't listen to me. I, I drink a lot. We try not to. <laughs> um, <laughs> for you most of the time. No, I'm <laughs> Uh, well, well, so that way, South Southwest always like disqualifies you from Fantastic Fest because of oh. the stipulation of that at least needs to be a Texas premiere. Oh, so that's some horseshit. South by that you can't do shit. Fantastic, but South by is the bigger get. So, oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Fantastic Fest really needs to change that rule. <laughs> We're not right? bashing you, Fantastic Fest. We love you, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, no, come on, Jim. But bring our fucking buddy <laughs> back here. Come on. Yeah, Terry, Let me take you. Let me take you don't lose that not, promotion you just got. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic Fest. We're not upset. We're just disappointed. Um, but I'm on fucking that, upset. <laughs> on that note, Keith, let's get you out of here, man. Feel free to take over the show right now. Let people know when the move. You know where the movie they can find the movie, um, where they can follow you. Everything that's going on with you, man. Just just take over the show. Blast yourself. Cool. What's going on, everybody out there? This is actor Keith Holiday. You can follow me on Instagram, underscore Keith Holiday, K-E-I-T-H-H-O-L-L-I-D-A-Y. Same for, for Facebook. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook as well and Twitter. Same thing, underscore Keith Holiday. Uh, please, please, please catch The Angry Black Girl and Her Monster, starring Leia Deleon Hayes, Denzel Whitaker, Chad Coleman, and yours truly. Uh, it'll be out on Shutter the end of this month, but you can catch it in theaters. Right now, it's in select cities, but within the following week, it'll be everywhere. Wow. And I really, th- I really feel that this puts a stamp on the resurgence of Black horror. Mm. Mm. Fantastic! That's everybody, go! Word. Everybody, go! Watch the movie and go follow Keith and see what he does next. Keith, we That's for us. again definitely appreciate it. As for us. We're going to get on out of here before we come right back here in about 30 minutes. So, Double Jeff, grade. yeah, where Jeff, where can people find you before they don't find you? In oh, no, no, no. Let's oh. skip all that. We're going to be we're skipping outros. We're, we're, we're going to be back in 15 minutes. But Half people, mine are jokes <laughs> anyway. I'm just saying, if I'm watching the replay and then I didn't watch the idol one, you yeah. can find me, Jeff or Madel Jeff, next person. <laughs> we'll do it quick. Here's the- uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. Just look at look up my name. 
I, I'm not creative. I don't go by screen names. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, where can people find you? Of course, all month, Pride Month long, at Pendependence CO. Get your Pride pens. Only $10 a pen. Come get them. Terry sounds like one of them salesmen at the fair. Come get your pride pen. Pride pen, pride pen. Everybody come get your pride pen. <laughs> what are you waving? Play one, play two, man. Do I see three? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, or, you know what? Catch me this Saturday at the Black Pride Cookout. He'll pin you up. Nine, where can people find you? Right here, man. Great. <laughs> Money <laughs> click, where can people find you? <laughs> Apparently, you can find me here, too. Who Boom. Can you Jump. See, you'll see it in eight minutes. <laughs> we love Don't you. Change. We'll see you later. <laughs> Don't change Peace, that everyone. stream. <laughs> oh, Come back. Wow. Come back. <laughs>